I hope you made arrangements for the kitty. It's nuclear energy, bro. This is so frustrating. <laughs> oh God, there's a part of me that just like does not want to watch this at all. all the abandoned pets, I just, it breaks my heart. I'm sorry to bother you, Deputy Minister, but... What happened? Something went wrong. It's the miners. Are they sick? They're naked? Because it's so hot? Are they naked? Oh my god. Are they doing going in naked because it's so hot? Oh my god. Oh my god, they're all naked. Uh, let me tell you something. That was something I did not expect to see. Did this actually happen? I really didn't expect to see this. Uh, Cameron, we might just have to cut all the shots out showing the men because this is going to be impossible for you to censor this many When this is over... Will they be looked after? I don't know. Yeah, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. They could be doing this job for nothing, just to protect other people. I mean, it's not for nothing. It's for a good cause, but it's just horrible because they've been forced to do it. And it's because of other people's f ups, you know, that their lives are now endangered. Why didn't you initiate an emergency shutdown? Why didn't you press the AZ5 button? I did. They did. What? So did the button not do anything when it- Oh, and that's when it exploded? The shutdown button caused it to explode? I did everything right. Oh, he keeps saying that. I did everything right. Yeah. This is a nightmare. Does she know what, what happened, what went wrong? Or does she agree? Does she think that they did everything right, but something went wrong somewhere else? Is she going back to Dyatlov? Go back to Dyatlov. Oh, did- What have you done? What kind of a place is this? Where is her protection? Do you have any idea what you're dealing with? Of course I do. She told her. People are going to hear. Do you understand? Everyone is going to hear. What is everyone going to hear? Who's this guy? Oh, has he been following her? You can check this. My name is Ulana. We know who you are. Yeah, they've been following you, girl. Oh, God. What is everyone going to hear? Jesus. Oh, God. This is so crazy, man. This is so high stakes. These scientists can't even do their goddamn job because they're being followed and every every move they make is being watched. Every word they're saying is being scrutinized. They're being threatened. That painting, I wonder what that a painting of. It's so interesting, a man holding the other person in his arms who's wounded. This entire region must be completely evacuated. He doesn't like that he's bringing it up again, but he's right. All animals still surviving within the zone, whether domesticated or wild, must be presumed contaminated and will have to be destroyed. Oh, that's tragic. That's really tragic. Conrad Chakov. Oh, Larry. Oh, God. He's going to ask about the doctor. My associate was, was arrested last night. I mean no disrespect, but I was wondering if you could tell me why. I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. She was arrested by the KGB. You are the first deputy chairman of the KGB. I love how sassy Legasov gets. So you will be accountable for her? Then it's done. Ay ay ay. It's not about accountability, it's about making sure she didn't talk. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> you came off like a naive idiot. Uh-huh. Naive idiots are not a threat. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, whatever works. I came over. His face was gone. Oh, that's why we didn't see him. I'm really glad we didn't see him. I couldn't have handled it. I mean, I'm sure that like makeup might not have been able to do it either, but it, it just, I'm just glad we didn't see him. I came off pressed AZ-5 and then the reactor exploded. I think it's what I would say if I was trying to cover my own mistakes. But they, they have nothing at stake. They know they're dying. I believe them. Yeah. I just wonder like how that could happen. I wonder if it must be the way the plant was like assembled or the core. Oh, they expand. Did they expand the evacuation perimeter? Oh, they're rec Oh no, they're recruiting men for work. Right. Some of these guys look so young. Oh god, they look so young. I really worry about Ludmilla. I can't believe she's pregnant and she like allowed. Is that Vasily? Is he dead? I can't believe she allowed Vasily to touch her belly. Like she was warned so many times. They're sealing up the bodies to bury them. Right. It's so sad. I'm gonna pour cement over them. That's just so sad. You couldn't wait until until the women are, have left, until the family say goodbye, maybe you leave. Yeah, so sad. Oh, the slow moving concrete. It's just so, it feels like it's suffocating them, you know? It's just like so devastating. 
This is definitely really sad. I'm interested because I still, I don't, because I'm not familiar with all the history, I don't really know to this day if they figured out exactly what happened and why their core exploded. So I wonder if we're going to get that answer in the next two episodes. I really hope we do. I feel like the next two episodes will probably focus more on the political aspects of what's going on and the scientists trying to get to the bottom of the answer, but also still avoid threats from the government and from the KGB. Because I feel like we've already really delved into the horrors of what's going on. Ooh, panning shots like this always disorient me. They make me dizzy. Enough. Ugh, four months later. Is this where she's been relocated to? And she's pregnant. Oh, I'm so worried about her baby, man. I'm worried about her baby. Is her baby going to be okay? I'm worried that it's going to be born with health defects and not survive. It's like the last thing I need. I'm, I'm telling you. I don't need that in the next two episodes. These men, these are boys. These aren't men. They're boys. They're kids. <gasps> oh, he's sick. We've been focusing on this guy a lot. We saw him in the last episode too. Interesting. Are these bottles of water? Like glass bottles of water or, or, or is it vodka or something? Because I saw one of these clear bottles get handed to one of the guys when they survived the mission. It, look, is it, it must be vodka or something. It's not water. It's interesting. I feel like in America that they'd be handing out beer, but here it looks like they're handing out vodka. <laughs> I will say the only good vodka I've ever had. I mean, I know we're not in Poland, but we're in the Eastern Europe area I, is was Poland. It was the only good place I ever had vodka. Or not the only good place, you know what I mean, the only good vodka I've ever had. <laughs> Give me an egg basket. No, I've only got the one. Give me the f***ing basket. What's an egg basket for? He's with me. You understand? Nobody f***s with him. Ooh. You're lucky you got this guy on your side, dude. Put it on under your balls. Oh. Over your clothes. Well, you didn't specify. I thought it meant under the clothes, too. <laughs> Poor dude. We do animal control. Oh, animal control. Oh, they kill animals. That's their job. Oh. Oh, they kill. Oh, God. Oh, that's really hard. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. As much vodka as you want. Plus a thousand rubles. If you kill dogs, which is. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Guys, I can't. I can't see this. I can't see this. <laughs> I can't watch people shoot dogs. I can't. I'm getting worked up just about the idea of it. I can't. I can't. Also, I think it's hilarious that they're only protecting their d**ks <laughs> when they're going out into the radioactive territory. Or maybe they're just extra protective of their d**ks. Maybe they'll wear protective gear too, <laughs> but they just want double layer of protection just for their d**ks. One would think you'd care more about your head, but... <laughs> Tell me when we're ready to move it. To think that's what we put on the moon. I'm not that one. <laughs> a different one. I know, not that one. <laughs> like, ass off, Jesus, dude. He's not very good with social skills. Well, hey, what's that? It's mine. Aww. Aww. First time he smiles this whole time. Okay, wow, yeah. I mean, I guess I knew Dyatlov had to survive because apparently he gets put in a, a prison labor camp, but I'm shocked he's alive. Can you confirm that the reactor exploded? after they attempted to shut it down. How do I even know it exploded, huh? <sighs> he's still sticking with that story. It's interesting, he looks like he's aged like 10 years since we've seen him last. Well, you're using the right question, we'll get you the truth. There is no truth. Ask the bosses whatever you want, you'll get the lie. Well, that's true, we've gotten nothing but lies up until this point. That's the truth. God dang it, I want the answers, but we did start off this series saying you'll know, or it's hard to keep track of the truth because you only get lies. That is literally how we open the series, so I probably won't get an answer. Oh, are they going hunting for animals? I don't like this. I really don't want to see them shoot a dog. I don't want it. This is horrible. I guess that's why people weren't allowed to take their pets with them. God damn it. Oh no, he does not know what he's doing. Oh my God. He doesn't know how to handle a gun. Oh God, that's terrifying. I mean, why would he, you know? It's just scary watching somebody like point a gun where they're not supposed to point it when they're loading it and holding it all wonky. Don't let them suffer. Yeah. Or I'll kill you, understand? I mean it. Yeah, I mean, I feel the same way. If I'm gonna have to kill an animal, I don't want it to suffer. I would, it would ruin me. It would, I don't wanna, I don't wanna watch them kill animals though. Ah. Uh. Look at him pointing the, point it upward. Point it in the sky, you dumbass, or way down at the ground. No, 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 no,
know, they've been conditioned. They know, they think it's humans are a good thing. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't. Oh, I can't, I can't. Uh, he looks shell-shocked already, man. Couldn't I like at least volunteer for a different job? I'd rather burn down trees than do this. I like, I, I, I. Go, go, go. Oh, see. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hurry up! Kill it! It's whimpering! Hurry up! I don't want to see it! <laughs> Hurry up! Stop! Stop! No! Why? You're dragging that to the truck. <laughs> this is not okay. I can't handle this. I thought, like, you know, we had drawn a line somewhere. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, God. This is this is where I draw the line, man. I can't watch dogs die. Now I see why they all drink constantly and the vodka's free. I'm starting to understand. Is that a drill? What is that? Oh, the ger that's the German piece of equipment that they said they needed. Yeah. Man, could you imagine how terrifying it would be to be living in, not only in this area, but, like, I'm thinking about, like, just any other country in the surrounding areas watching to see how they handle this situation in the Soviet Union. Like, it'd be terrifying. Be like, please don't f up, we're watching, please. All right, let's take this easy. Forward one meter, reverse one meter. Oh God, I hope this works. Oh, no way. Is it because of the radiation? It's not a signal, it's the vehicle. It's dead. Oh, the battery, because of the radiation? Where, where is he going? Boris. Doors, I know they're listening! Oh, he's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. Tell him Gorbachev! Tell him! Ooh, he big mad. <laughs> the phone is still in his hands. Broken. Uh. The official position of the state is that a global nuclear catastrophe is not possible in the Soviet Union. Wow. They told the Germans that the highest detected level of radiation was 2,000 Rontgen. They lied. They gave them the propaganda number. Wow. So it broke the robot. You need a new phone. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Oh, God. I understand why he's pissed. It's so frustrating living in a state where all they care about is the image that they have and making sure they're maintaining the lies and the image they want to maintain and not about what the truth is. I mean, that's a lot of places, but it's just so blatantly apparent in this situation that it's awful. It happens all the time, but this is just so frustrating. Oh, uh, I don't want to see more dogs dying. I don't want it. I'm telling you, I'm over it, okay? Oh, this dog is hiding. This cat. The cats have got to be the hardest to catch. Cats are, are tricky. A puppy? No. I saw captions. It said puppy yelps. I can't handle it if it's a puppy, you guys. I don't want to cry again. I really don't want to cry again. We're puppies. <laughs> guys, this is like a rule you don't break. You don't kill kids and you don't kill dogs in shows and movies. Just go outside. <laughs> oh God, this is again where I hope we're dramatizing events. Um, but it's just, it's just awful. Is he drinking? Yeah, I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. This is the worst job. I mean, I don't think there's a single good job in this entire tragic event, but this sucks. Oh, no. No, 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 no. God dang it! Because of the nature of the working area, you will each have no more than 90 seconds to solve this problem. Take care not to fall. Someone's definitely gonna fall. Someone's for sure gonna fall. And this guy's staying up here the whole time to signal to them what's going on. I mean, he's get probably in a dangerous position just staying up here. Above all, while on the roof, throw your debris over the rail. Do not look over the rail. Is that clear? Do not look over the rail. They're gonna look over the rail. Someone's gonna fall in the hole. All these things they've been told not to do. Something's got, bad's gotta happen. Jesus, dude. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, God, this guy is gonna fall. I can feel it. Don't look over the rail. I don't know why it says that. Maybe it's just because they're like, you don't have time. 
Honestly, the roaring of the decimeter really adds to the tension. It just stresses me the f out. He's gonna fall, someone's gonna fall. Don't look over, I don't know why, but don't look over. It's time to go, time to go, time to go. Don't fall. <laughs> Dude! Oh, he's done, 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 he's done. He's really done. He's really done. You're f dude. You're f sorry. God, he's too klutzy. Does his foot already hurt? F his boot ripped. Not like it would have mattered. You're done. Yeah, you really are done. You're done in more ways than one, sir. That's so sad. This guy that's up here chilling and like clanking the pipe as a bell is probably just being exposed to such massive amounts of radiation. Like he's not going to survive either. Oh, and she's pregnant. Oh, God. I. What? <gasps> oh, she's going into labor. out of this girl. Oh no, I don't want to see her baby. Listen, we've already seen enough. We've seen dogs die. We've seen people falling apart and dying in horrific, unspeakable ways. I don't want to see a baby. Can that just be enough? Like, I'm I'm already a mess. The Central Committee, Sunny, like us of Vienna, is the headquarters of the International Atomic, Atomic Energy Agency. Huh? I know what's in Vienna. Why do they always have to cut him off? He was just trying to be nice and explain it. Tell the world what happened. Whoa. Well, then you'd better know what happened. Yeah. Did she figure it out? I think this article may have the answer, but two pages have been removed. Of course. The ones she needs. You've seen this before. In 1975, at an RBMK reactor at Leningrad, a fuel channel ruptured. The operators pressed AZ-5, but instead of the power going down immediately, for a brief moment, it went up. Oh. At least he's familiar with the article and what happened. If the boron control rods are completely withdrawn from the reactor, when they're put back in, the first thing that enters the core isn't boron. It's graphite. So the reactivity doesn't go down, it goes up dramatically. Oh. Why on earth would they press that button? They didn't know. Yeah, they didn't know because this info is kept from them because they live in a state where information and facts are, are kept from people so they can't know these things. Because the floor will not lead to an explosion unless the operators have pushed the reactor to the edge of disaster. Which they had. So it is their fault. Yes, but they had no way of knowing, probably. It's also the government's fault, right? The state. Is that what you're going to say in Vienna? Oh, I don't know what he's going to say in Vienna. Do you know the name Vasily Ignatenko? Oh, the firefighter? We're bringing him up? I've been looking in on his widow. Oh. She gave birth. What happened? A girl. The baby lived for four hours. They said the radiation would have killed the mother, but the baby absorbed it instead. Her baby. I'm glad we didn't check in on that and she just told us. When I found out she was pregnant, I was like, ma'am, why did you do that? Why did you go in and let him touch you when you've been told? She even said you're not pregnant, aren't you? And you lied, like, it was just horrible, you know? Like, you could have at least kept your husband's memory and had taken care of your baby. Oh, and she's gonna be in here surrounded by all these people with crying babies and her baby didn't survive. I can't, I can't, I'm, I really can't cry again. I can't let myself cry again, I can't handle it. I mean, I feel bad for her, but also she like went directly against what nurses told her to do. Not saying she deserved that, but it's just like, it's frustrating, you know? God, this show is so depressing. Why are we starting off with all these cheery, happy kids in this beautiful place? I'm worried. I feel like we can't have anything nice. What? Wait, is this before the event? This is before the event, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's before. We went back in time. Who's this? Oh, Dyatlov. Wow, we went back and are we gonna jump ahead to his testimony? Is this like on the day of the accident? How oh, interesting. Yes, 12 hours before the explosion, yeah. Interesting. I'll personally supervise the test and it will be completed. Oh, it'll be completed, all right. Call me when it's done. Oh, he'll call you when it's done. In the middle of the night. <laughs> See, imagining a promotion right now, looking around the office. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, you're gonna have a different kind of view in a few days. <laughs> it says, at last a Soviet scientist who tells the truth. Oh. Oh, he, this is after the conference in Vienna. Oh, he did tell the truth. At what? Lying. Oh, oh, did he lie? He lied and the West is... Oh. The Chernobyl was solely the result of operator error, which it essentially was. Oh, he, he, he did what Boris told him to do. 
But it sounds like he told the people thought he told the truth. Interesting. When you gave us assurances. The reactors would be made safe. No changes have been made. No changes even discussed. First, the trial. Because you, you should have spoken up in Vienna. But they probably would have killed him. They have learned nothing. The reactors are a time bomb, man. It's just a matter of time until something goes wrong if you don't fix it ASAP. This is so bad. The state will never willingly fix the reactors because acknowledging the problem means admitting that they lied. They will have to be forced. Ugh, which is why you should have just said something in Vienna. So I've already given my life. Isn't that enough? No, I'm sorry, but it is not. No, because you could do more. And you know, you know you need to do more. You're gonna die anyway. Whether it's now or in five years, I mean, you might as well. Although, I don't blame him for not wanting to come out about it because probably just wants to be done with the whole thing, but he can't be. Whoa. Wait, the trial, is it taking place in Chernobyl? That seems stupid. Why would it take place in Chernobyl? No way. This is also a problem. Oh, what's she gonna say? She's probably gonna speak maybe some truths. I don't know. I don't know if she thinks it'll make a difference. I'm interested to see what she has to say. She's looking at the panel of scientists. To understand what happened that night, we have to go back 10 hours earlier, April 25th, the day the test was meant to take place. Is that why we saw the 12 hours earlier in the beginning? I wonder if we'll go back and forth. At midnight, there is a shift change. Yeah, we are going back and forth between the day and, and this. That, that's great. I wanted that because we skipped over that in the beginning. We started with the reactor exploding. I have to do something I've never done before with the outlook looking over my shoulder. Oh God, this was such a rookie mistake that they made. All because of the sake of ego and wanting to complete the test and look good to the higher ups, you know? Well, what should I, are you sure? What did he say? He says to follow the cross down instructions. What? Oh God, that's so bad. Uh, is it too much to ask that you all know what you're doing? Uh, no, he do they don't, they're lying, oh God. They're lying because they don't want to like disappoint their boss. I've never done this with the power so low before. It's okay, I'm with you. Uh, see, oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. None of them know what they're doing and, and some of them even think that it's the wrong move. But they just, they live in a climate where you can't ask questions, you can't speak the truth. It's horrible. It's interesting whenever we do these shots where it's like you, it's like you hold on the, the person so everything else gets wonky and fluid and disorienting. Puts you in their head for a bit. I have a feeling he's not gonna speak out because this guy killed himself in the first episode and it was after recording tapes and sticking them in a wall for someone presumably to find. I have a feeling that he's not gonna speak out here. Oh, we're back with them. This is so stressful. We're following protocol for reduction rate. You're procrastinating. Dyatlov, oh my God. Come get me when these old women are ready. Yes, comrade Dyatlov. He is insufferable completely. Is he really this much of a prick? Whoa, 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 slow. I, I didn't move any rods there. It went lower. It's plummeting, it's plummeting. LAC disabled, global control activated. It's plummeting even more. F***ing amateurs, you stored the reactor. How the f*** did you get this job? You don't know what you're doing either, Dyatlov. I apologize, but what you're saying makes no sense. Raise the power. No. no. Oh, uh, is this the conversation that actually happened? I guess we, I don't know if we know this, but this, this would be insane. I would like you to record your command. Oh, wow. <coughs> oh no, Sherbina, he's dying, man. Oh my God, with like that little Mickey Mouse out there. So disturbing. I can't believe this trial is taking place in Chernobyl. Of all the ministers and all the deputies, they mistakenly sent the one good man. For God's sakes, Boris. You were the one who mattered most. Oh, that's very sweet. He did give some rousing speeches and encourage some men to make sacrifices when it was needed. He did do the right thing once he got with the program. If we had more water, there will be even less. I said time. it's enough. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Man, Akimov really tried. The computer is recommending that the reactor be shut down. Oh, God. I guess it's not too late. It could be shut down at this point, but... Well, of course it's saying that. It doesn't know we're running a test. All right, comrades. Another few minutes. It'll all be over. Oh, yeah. It will be all over in a few minutes. I did everything right. No, you didn't. But, but you did what you were told. But you didn't do everything right, and you know that. It's really hard to make that decision in that moment because you know you're going to be fired. But it would have been the right decision to just go against what your boss said and just shut it down anyway. 
We, we, we have a power surge, Sasha. It's too late. What did you do? Right, of course he's blaming them. The, the guy playing Diallo is doing a really good job of playing a complete and total asshole. I still have more evidence to give. It's not necessary. Your testimony is concluded. Oh, they cut him off. Uh, we will resume tomorrow. Let him finish. Ooh. Let him finish. Yeah, let him finish. Let him finish. Good job, Boris. Say the right thing, man. Do it. Speak up. He did these things believing there was a failsafe. Mm-hmm. And there wasn't. Dialov's surprised. He's like, wait a minute. What's he saying? The fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. These rods are made of boron, which reduces reactivity, but not- Boron! We used boron and sand for the fire. The tips are made of graphite. Why? Why? Why does it accelerate it? Or why were the tips- Why do the tips have graphite on them? For the same reason our reactors do not have containment buildings around them, like those in the West. For the same reason- Ah. Uh. We don't use properly enriched fuel in our cores. Mm-hmm. It's cheaper. Mm. And it's less safe. Yep. I love that he's speaking up, man. I love it. At long last, we have arrived. 123.45. Explosion. Oh. Oh. Gnarly. Oh. It's, I, I, I do love the execution of this, that we're now seeing what this looked like up close, because we only saw it way at a distance from Ludmilla's apartment before. No one in the room that night knew the shutdown button could act as a detonator. Right, they hadn't been given that information because it had been redacted. You're contradicting your own testimony in Vienna. My testimony in Vienna was a lie. Yep. I'm not the only one who kept the secrets. There are many. Oh, don't, and don't, oh. Boris is like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. Lies. Wow. Good job, dude. I wonder what's going to happen with him now. Because he does end up getting back to his apartment where he ends his life. And they're locking him in here. Oh, fun. Great. A makeshift prison. Good. Oh, we're showing a close-up of that creepy mouse now. I don't know why. I mean, I saw it earlier and I thought it was creepy. It's kind of random. Oh, here he is, Mr. KGB. Scientist. And your idiot obsession with reason. When the bullet hits your skull, what will it matter? Why? It will matter if he stood up for the right cause to save millions of other lives. It will matter. Lesser men will receive credit for the things you have done. Great. Lovely. If I refuse, why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Oh, that's perfect. Hmm. <laughs> right. It perfectly parallels the fact that they're just burying their heads in the sand about the other reactors. We are so focused on our search for truth, we fail to consider how few actually want us to find it. I like that we're hearing the speech again, this monologue, because now we have the perspective of what it all means. <sighs> exactly two years after the explosion. Wow. Now that's Legasov. The audio tapes of his memoirs were circulated among the Soviet scientific community. His suicide made it impossible for them to be ignored. It's so sad that he had to kill himself. Soviet officials finally acknowledged the design flaws only after he killed himself. He really had to kill himself for them to do anything. It's crazy. He was aided by dozens of scientists that worked tire tirelessly alongside him at Chernobyl. She was created to represent them into- Oh! So Komyuk was a personification of all of the other scientists that helped him. Interesting. Boris died on August 22nd, 1990, four years and four months after he was sent to Chernobyl. Oh, Skarsgård kind of looks a little bit like him. Following the death of her husband and daughter, Ludmilla suffered multiple strokes. They told her she'd never be able to bear a child. So that was a real story. Oh my God. I thought that that might've been fictionalized. It wasn't. Oh my God, that's heartbreaking. They were wrong, she bore a child. Oh, <laughs> she lives with her son in Kiev. That's really good. Okay. Of the people who watched from the railway bridge, it has been reported that none survived. So that really happened too. It is now known as the Bridge of Death. Oh my God. It has been widely reported that the three divers who drained the bubble tanks died as a result of their heroic actions. Yeah, I, I'd be shocked if they didn't. Wait, they survived? They all survived after hospitalization. Whoa. And two are still alive today. That is crazy. We'll never know the actual cost of Chernobyl. Yeah, that's true. 
Most estimates range from 4,000 to 93,000 deaths. Uh, that's a wide range. The official Soviet death toll unchanged since 1987 is 31. Wow. Wow, so the reason we never checked in with those guys who went into the water is because they survived. That's crazy. That's crazy. How did they survive? That is insane. Wow. Honestly, this show just makes me want to go and watch like a documentary about Chernobyl now because everything I'd really heard about it was just kind of like seeing videos of people who went and explored it all these years later in like crazy suits with those senators talking about what the evacuation was like and why so many of the buildings look like completely abandoned, like why pets were abandoned and why it just looks like a ghost town. That's pretty much most of what I'd heard before embarking on this series. There's really a lot of interesting details regarding the political aspects of this accident that I'd love to watch something that isn't dramatized or fictionalized at all. I mean, none of this really seems fictionalized. It seems like they really stuck to the true nature of the story because they didn't need to fictionalize anything. Um, I mean, even the whole story with Ludmilla, I assumed was dramatized and it wasn't. That's crazy. I think it'd be interesting to watch a documentary about all the details of this and see if there's any other pieces of information that I could learn, especially because I feel like I had to focus so intently on the system failure and all of the steps leading up to the explosion. Everyone was giving their testimony in court. I just felt like I had to be so engaged and pay such close attention because it really felt like a science lesson, um, but in an engaging, well-written way. I mean, it was very suspenseful and I really do appreciate that we kept going back and forth between the past before the accident and the present day testimony because we started off the series with the explosion from civilians' point of view, from Ludmilla's point of view. So I remember always thinking, man, I really hope we do get to see what it was like in the building at the plant and what happened, and we did. So I do think this series was crafted really well. I think it was written really well. I think it was really smart to do it in a mini series format. I don't think we needed any more episodes. I couldn't have handled one more episode of any traumatic events, to be honest. I mean, episode four made me cry so hard. I just couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> I think the editing was really good and the sound design was brilliant. I think it's also really interesting that we started off from this really important event in history where Legasov was committing suicide because he couldn't take it anymore. That is the moment, that was the catalyst for change to actually finally happen, for scientists to start speaking up and for the Soviet Union to finally fix the remaining uh, RBMK reactors. It makes that moment that we started off the series that much more poignant. It was just really well done. Um, I definitely <laughs> feel like I'm at a lower energy now than when I started this show. It is very heavy, very dark, very sad. Most of the shows I watch with you guys, even if they're dramatic and sad, I can shake it off at the end of the day because it's not real. This really happened. And um, from what I've learned, it seems like it was very true to reality and what actually occurred. So that makes it even more disturbing and upsetting. So many people died because of others' mistakes. And there are so many people that didn't have to really deal with their consequences. I mean, Fomin, Fumin, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. I mean, he even went to working at a nuclear plant later after he got out of, out of prison. He ended up working at a, another plant in Russia. I mean, that's just so crazy. I honestly just feel pretty somber right now, but really grateful that a show like this exists. I got the opportunity to learn more about an event that I really didn't know that much about, you know? Of course, I'd heard of Chernobyl. I thought I knew plenty about it, but really I didn't. It's definitely an educational experience and really well done and well crafted. With all that being said, I think I'm going to need a break from the drama and the intensity. The next series that we will be doing here on my channel is very different from this and very different from anything that we've done. And it was also um, a vote in a poll on Patreon. It actually won the poll, but this was just really close behind. So I decided to throw this one in first since it's so short. But uh, the next series we'll be diving into is a lot longer and uh, hopefully a lot more lighthearted. I'm, I'm assuming it will be, but I'm excited to share that with you guys next. And of course, we've always got more fun superhero movies and light things as well. I do wanna do some more dramatic movies though as well, because we've been watching a little bit more superhero content lately, and I'm excited to get into some different genres of films, maybe some dramatic Oscar-winning films. I'd like to do that, but 
nothing this intense, <laughs> at least for a little bit. But until the next video, that is all I have for you guys on this one. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.